Hey there, today we are going to talk about Sidekit, Google's official WordPress plugin. If you're not aware of it, Google has recently launched an official plugin for WordPress. So today what we're going to do is we're going to implement Sidekit on our website and I'm going to show you how we're going to implement it. So I'll also be doing this for the first time. So let's first go ahead. Uh, you have to log into your WordPress website. Um, so here we have our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in plugins. We're going to add a new plugin. Uh, Sidekit. We're going to type Sidekit here. This is the official plugin. Uh, it says here by Google. It's, it's an official plugin. Um, so let's be, be, we're going to install it now. This might take a little while. Once the plugin is installed, uh, you can just hit activate here. Now the plugin is added to our website. You can see there's a new option here. Um, let's see what are the options that it, it has. So it's asking to start the setup. So uh, we'll go step by step. So in this step, it's helpful if you're already logged in to your Gmail account on which you have the access to, let's say, Webmaster or Analytics. Um, so it's easier to set up and it'll be faster. So uh, let's sign in. It's asking to view and manage search console data for your verified site. So as I said, you should select the account on which you have search console access. At least at this stage uh, of the plugin development cycle, uh, only admins can uh, do this. So that's what Google says at least. Over time, other individuals with, with access might be able to set this up as well. But for now, only admins can set this up. So we're going to allow this. So again, we're going to allow this as well. So there's a bunch of settings that Google wants permission on. Uh, so we're just going to allow this as well. So this is the main account on which I have access to Search Console. That's why I'm I'm logging into this. It says again, so the WordPress is on digitalthirdparty.com. So you're a verified owner, allow access to Google data. So we're going to allow this as well. So what this will do, uh, do is it will help display metrics on the dashboard itself. I'll show this after the setup is done. Uh, I believe that's it. Now we can see click data impression data directly on the WordPress dashboard. Okay, so I can connect analytics as well and page speed insight which is nice so it's easier to see how much time it takes to load a specific landing page directly in the dashboard it's a good implementation so a lot of uh, website owners or, or someone who's starting up uh, they seem to forget to implement search console or at time analytics as well uh, so it it's a, this plugin is helpful for them so they, they don't forget and they get all the data related to their account uh, directly in directly into their WordPress, WordPress dashboard so this is a relatively new website so that's why a lot of information is not showing up what we're going to do is we gonna test a little things uh, so search for individual page or post information. I don't know what this does. Let's see um, So this says home. Okay, let's search for view data This will give you an individual page summary as well um, So you don't have to again go to search console search for specific pages You can do all those activities here itself. So that's a bit convenient for at least uh, small businesses so what we're going to do is now we're going to set up analytics as well as uh, page speed insight so let's do that as well you can go to come connect more services so there is uh, other options like analytics so let's set up analytics i don't have adsense uh, so i don't use adsense as such so i don't know how this will display the data because i have a bunch of analytics property access let's see 
Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is nice. So, uh, let's see what this option does. Okay, done. Okay, so now I can see analytics as well as search console data directly into my WordPress dashboard, which is convenient. Um, for me specifically I have a small website it's still growing it's still new I need to get a lot of things done so it's helpful for me to see all the information at a glance lastly what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect page speed inside as well so let's see how that's helpful okay okay so it's preparing so I can see uh, my website performance directly um, on the dashboard so it says the mobile speed is bad desktop speed is fast okay so we need to improve the mobile speed we need to work on the mobile website maybe remove a certain uh, certain elements to make it faster that's how easy it was to set up site kit by Google um, and what we're going to do is there I saw additional tag manager as well but I don't know how they'll connect because I already have tag manager so let's set up tag manager as well so you can go to connect more services again and uh, we're gonna click on tag manager uh, again it'll ask for the access to the account so view and manage your google tag manager accounts okay out um, okay there's a bunch of uh, permissions again I trust Google okay 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 I'm gonna allow all these permissions for now and let's see what happens so I already have an uh, tag manager set up in my account so for that I have to use uh, insert header and footer plugin yeah so maybe I don't have to use it uh, okay so uh, now that you can see there uh, if you have access to multiple accounts uh, you can go to the drop down in accounts and see multiple options again containers as well you can set up new containers for me right now we're working on digital third party so we're gonna use this container confirm and continue let's see um, I think that's done um, let's go to setting again so as you can see right we have activated four services that Google offers through this plugin first is search console so search console will help you see all those search queries that users are typing in to uh, visit your website and the links that you're getting a lot of error reports that you have if you have any error reports uh, on your website so it's easier for Google to convey that information to you now um, I believe through this plugin analytics again viewing information at a glance can be very helpful um, because I tend to log into my WordPress dashboard a lot so yeah seeing information at a glance is very helpful lastly suppose you want to disconnect your website through this so there's an option uh, here so you can directly disconnect you can go to man site as well and uh, you can just remove access to whatever website you've connected so this is helpful this is very uh, intuitive and uh, user friendly so that's how easy it was to add site kit on your website the best part is it's for free because if you go to other plugins like monster insight they give you basic integrations for free and then you have to uh, maybe buy a subscription or they limit your uh, capabilities through that plugin you have to pay for it I believe Google is listening to his customers through this plugin and uh, uh, Google has heard one of the major problems of integrating codes on WordPress. I don't know if you are aware of it, almost 34% of the website on the web is powered by WordPress so it makes sense for Google. Uh, having less plugins is always, always favorable and uh, it does not add to your site speed so yeah so this plugin having this one plugin to do multiple things for me and directly uh, see information at a glance whether it's page speed whether it's analytics whether it's uh, you know, how how users are searching to get to a website so these multiple factors help me uh, as a small business hope you like this video 
and uh, just comment below if you uh, have any questions regarding this uh, if you want me to cover any other aspect of this uh, probably comment below subscribe for more videos